station has a bright future. Um, you know, the construction is done, so everything that the shuttle needed to do is done. We have the International Space Station ready to enter, you know, what we're calling the utilization phase. Hopefully we're going to see 10 years of good quality science out of it as well. So we still have a vibrant program going on. Times of transition are very difficult and we're certainly in a time of transition. We'll have a solid future ahead of us. We still have smart engineers coming out of schools and we'll have new vehicles. Now it's time to move on to something, to get on to pass low Earth orbit. And we know for sure it's going to 2020. It could even go farther, and there will be a lot of good science to come out of the work that we're doing on the space station. I think why a lot of us got into this business was exploration and uh, seeing what's over the next horizon. That's what I would personally like to see is let's go explore other worlds. Let's explore the moon. Let's explore an asteroid. Let's explore Mars. To me, that's the part of human spaceflight that, that really is exciting. And just to see what's over that next bend and around that next curve is why I originally got into this business. And it's quite possible that the destination that we will end up going to is one we don't even know yet, because as you know, we're still exploring. There's other places of interest in our solar system. And uh, who knows? I think anywhere we go is good because it's broadening the frontier. It's pushing technology and it's getting us further and further out in, into the solar system. I think we belong on Mars, um, and I assume you're referring to human exploration, uh, and I'd like to consider that as a long-term goal for the space program to put humans on Mars. Look at the long-term time frame and the future is pretty bright.